Hey, good morning, fourth and fifth graders. What is today? Anybody know what today is? It is the day before Thanksgiving. Dia de Acción de Gracias. Tomorrow is Dia de Acción de Gracias. And you say, Francesca, ¿qué significa eso? It's not a día feriado. What's so special about Dia de Acción de Gracias? Look. We do have classes, but on Friday, we're gonna do a fun activity. If you can call me on WhatsApp, okay? So, I'm gonna talk to you about it tomorrow a little bit more, but then if you can call, or if you can let me call you on the times that I'm gonna call the students on WhatsApp, we're gonna play a game. And the premios of that game are gonna be like, um, where you can send in a sticker and you don't have to do some math that day or different homework that day. So, vale la pena to play. It'll be fun, okay? So, I hope that you can be in the WhatsApp call, okay? We're not going to do Zoom. We're just going to do video calls so that nobody has to worry about downloading the app. But anyway, Thanksgiving is not about feriados. Thanksgiving is not about games, really. But we're still going to have fun with it, okay? Thanksgiving is about giving thanks to God. Guys, it is one of my favorite days. When we were growing up, we had a lot of costumbres, a lot of traditions with that day. On Thanksgiving, everybody wakes up together and has a nice breakfast. And then you don't eat for a long time because all day you're in the cocina, in the kitchen cooking your turkey and cooking your mashed potatoes and your vegetables and all different things. And so it's just a lot of fun with family. And then we talk about what we're thankful for to God and we thank God in our prayers and it's a lot of fun. Should we thank God every day? Claro que okay, see, we should thank God every day. But is it important to take one day and make sure you say thank you to him a lot. It is important. Ustedes sabían que en la Biblia Dios tenía días así para los israelitas. Ellos tenían um, días, no sé cómo se llaman, pero días como de fiestas, días de, de, de cenas where they would stop everything that they were doing and they would go to Jerusalem and they would worship God for doing something to record that what he had done, right? So we also have days like that. We have Navidad, where we stop what we're doing and we remember that God sent Jesus as a baby for us. Then we have Pascua and Santa Cena, where we stop what we're doing and we celebrate Jesus died on the cross for our sins. God wanted us to do that. Santa Cena in church. We stop what we're doing. We ask God to forgive us again of our sins so that we can keep our heart clean in front of God. And we thank him for dying on the cross for us, right? So Thanksgiving is the same thing. Thanksgiving was created when a group of people from Europe wanted to worship God freely, so they came over to America where the governor wasn't there to say, you have to worship God, I see, I see, I see. So they could worship God here. And when they got here, who was here to help them? In America. The Indians. And there were some bad things that happened between the, the Europeans and the Indians, but not at the beginning. At the beginning, they were what? You guys learned about Christopher Columbus. And Christopher Columbus did not treat the Indians well, remember? But the first group of people after that, okay, it was after that. It was like almost 150 years after that. This group of people came over, and they were Christian people. They came to America in the north. And we're going to read a little bit about that today in Bible class and in English class, okay? 
But they came over into the north and they wanted to worship God freely. But when they got there, they didn't know how to sobrevive. They didn't know how to survive. So who came to help them? The Indians. And they became very good friends. That after they survived their first year, they all wanted to have a fiesta. They wanted to have a gran cena to celebrate their amistad and to celebrate the fidelidad de Dios. That he helped them survive coming to a land where they could worship God the way that they knew how to worship God. How cool, right? So today, we're going to learn a little bit about what Thanksgiving is and a very important amistad in the Bible. And I want you to tell me, well, after we read this story, I want you to think about it. What does this story have to do, que tiene que ver, with the story of Thanksgiving and giving thanks to God? Okay? This is going to be a two-part Bible story, but that's okay, guys, because it's a special, special day. And then tomorrow, listen carefully, tomorrow you don't have a Bible class with me because all the teachers are making a video for you for tomorrow where we sing a song, we do the himno nacional de um, los estados, and, um, because, because Thanksgiving comes from the United States. Okay? So, um, and Mr. Mark gives a little devotional. Miss Bethany and Miss Haley teach us about the history of Thanksgiving. And so it's very exciting. Okay? So tomorrow, that's why we're learning our Bible lesson today about Thanksgiving. Okay? Here's what you need for today. You need your new homework sheet, okay? So you can't do this Bible lesson without your new stuff. You need your new homework sheet. You need your Thanksgiving Bible lesson sheet. And you need your I am thankful for. Okay, this right here, guys, is super important. I need you to do this right after the Bible lesson and send it to me right away, okay? Please, because I want it to go in the video that we're making, okay? Write what you are thankful for. Try to deny that, okay? Remember last year it was super special. You guys did it on your pluma, and then we put it together as a, a pavel. This one we're going to put in the video, and it's really important that we give thanks for God. What big thing do you want to give thanks for, to for God? Or a million things, okay? Fill this card up. Cool? Okay. So here we go. We're going to do our verse, the new verse that we have for this week. And you only have three days to send me a video, okay? Because it's a verse about Thanksgiving. Okay, here we go. Let's pray. And we're going to get started. Dear Lord, thank you so much for the opportunity to celebrate Thanksgiving, the opportunity to give thanks to you. I thank you for um, allowing me to be a teacher here, to be a teacher to these amazing students, Lord. I thank you for every single one of them. I thank you for, for Jayla, for Sama, Oscar, Safir, Kiara, Abiel, Dueno, Frankie, um, Mario, Scarlett, Fernanda, Andres, Emiliana, Holly, 